Well, I thought I'd do an update on this 12 volt generator project. This is the more or less finished generator. Um, I've been using it quite a bit and it's been really good. Um, but I've done a few improvements. That I've, when, when it's been running, the first problem was it is it just kind of moving around on the ground because <laughs> it didn't have any feet on it. So what I did, I found a, a car in a couple of car engine mounting rubbers, uh, cut them in half, and made some nice rubber feet for it, which are under there, which makes it kind of grip on the ground and it doesn't it doesn't move around. Um, and the second problem was it was really noisy because the, the exhaust was coming straight out of the, the exhaust port. So what I've done. Um, I made this stainless steel expansion chamber on the um, put it on the exhaust port and then it comes these gases come out of that and they go uh, down this uh, pipe into another pipe a bigger pipe down the bottom of that and then they come back up again because the big bottom of the uh, big pipe is is blanked off and that kind of whole exhaust pipe quines it down quite a bit which is which is nice um, and the third thing I've done is this is the really interesting bit <laughs> um, the, the problem with the car alternator is it won't generate until you apply a, a small voltage to it across the output because um, it's not able to excite the um, to, to build the magnetism on the rotor until it sees the voltage. So what I did was I put a small battery in there, a 9 volt battery with a push button uh, to excite it. So if you have a look at the if you have a look at the circuit diagram, um, uh, that's the alternator, the, the, the positive and negative output from the alternator, and this is the bit that I added, there's a small 9 volt battery which we saw on the kind of leg of the alternator a diode and a push button so when the alternator is running you just press the push button and it applies 9 volts to the alternator and that excites it and then it will build up to kind of 14 or 15 volts um, as soon as you press the button and that diode, all that does is if, is if you hold the button in too long what you don't want is the kind of 14 or 15 volts feeding back into the 9 volt battery um, so, so that diode just, just stops the back feed um, so if I give a demonstration uh, what I'll do is I'll start the start the engine, start the generator and we won't see any voltage very much on the meter until we press that excitation button and then you'll see the voltage go up to kind of 14 or 15 volts something like that and then what I'll do is to show that the, um, the output's really there I've got an old car headlight so I'll just connect that and we'll see that light up so we'll fire it up now and I'll, uh, there'll be no voltage more or less no voltage to start with and then we'll press the button and you'll see it goes to about f uh, 15 volts I think so right I'll start it now and I'll press the button
that's the generator, the finished 12 volt generator.